All right, travel junkies. I'm gonna to talk to you today about what to do with all those amazing photos when you get home. People have asked us, what do you do? You, get, you take all these photos with your phone, you travel to all these exotic places, and then you get home, and instead of just having the, the photos in a cloud somewhere, you wanna be able to see them and touch them and be able to reflect on them from time to time. So here are three different ways that you can take those amazing photos you have on your phone and then put them um, into something that are, are shareable and also um, great memories that you can leave on coffee tables and just around the house so you can uh, remember all the good times so you can pl and plan for the, the future um, great times ahead. First is Groovebook. Um, we use Groovebook a ton as we traveled. So as we went for 27 straight months to 35 countries, we wanted to be able to capture this and send it home to our nie nieces and nephews, our siblings, our parents. And the way we did that by, was by using Groovebook. And this is great because it's a service. If you go on Groovebook, I think it's groovebook.com. It's a service where they take your photos from either your social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, wherever that you might have shared them, or just out of your Google Photos um, or on your phone, and you put them into their into that folder that they have on a monthly basis. It's only $3.99 a month um, to subscribe and they send out a new book every month. And every every month has a different design. So you get all these different months. So we had 27 months of photos that would go to our siblings and our nephews and nieces and then they could see up to 100 photos of each one of those months. So you can pick between 40 and 100 photos. And then it's, what's cool is, in the way that they keep their costs down because they get, um, I guess they get through like a magazine loophole is because the, the pages, you can rip them out. You can actually um, get a page if there's a cool photo that you want there, you can rip it out and then share it, whether you put it on the on your refrigerator, use it as a bookmark, or um, share it with somebody. Um, that's, that's the cool part uh, about these books. So, And they're four by six, so they're easy to, to um, share and have around the house and you can collect them. And uh, whether, you just, whether you're doing it for travel or if you just wanna take photos of the kids or, or fun stuff you're doing in the cities and places that you live in, Group book is a great way to do that. The next level, I guess, would be um, for what we've done is Google Photo Books. So this is, I actually got the hard cover. You can get it in a soft cover as well. And this ties right into your Google Photos. I'm a huge fan of Google Photos. Use it for all of our photos. Even if we, uh, even on our iPhone, I still use back everything up in Google Photos. And it's an easy way just to click all the different photos you want, share it into this Google Photo Book area, and then create your own photo book. And the cool part is, is you can actually um, even create, uh, this, is a, this is a book I created for my brother to, to capture our Vietnam trip. And you can put words, um, I don't have it a bunch on this one, and some of it is probably personal, but you can put, you can, um, underneath a photo, you can put words there. So you can say like Da Nang, Vietnam, or um, a, a particular city, or if you wanted to just put the, um, something as, as a memory to, to, to capture that, you can put that in the book as well. And then you could uh, obviously customize the cover and the binding, you see there? And um, it's, it's a great way to, to, to be able to capture that. And these are, these are getting cheaper and cheaper. Currently, I think the lowest price I saw was $9.99 for the soft cover and um, $19.99 for a hard cover. Um, up to so many pages, then you can continue to, to um, a lot of customization that can go into that, including editing your photos and making sure that they go in there the way that you, you like them, whether it's it's um, the full, like this one, it's a full photo. Um, love that photo. So you can do a full photo like that, or you can make it so there's a lot of white space. So really cool way to customize it, a great way to capture it, and um, a lot, great for gift sharing as well. The other thing, um, the next next step is what I did with my police brotherhood uniform book uh, around the world. This is where I took photographs of police officers um, in different countries around the world and self-published this. So the other steps were for a do-it-yourself off your phone. Um, all the photos in this book were also on a phone, but I took it to the next level where I got a printer involved, an actual company that prints books on a large scale. They, they do a lot of textbooks for universities. Um, I reached out, understood that they did it. They printed books like I was trying to do with a photography book. Um, reached out to them, told them my, my idea, understood what the minimums were to, as far as purchasing um, ha, has to go. And then I walked with them through the process 
of understanding what they needed as far as the, the huge PDF. Because there's a lot of things to think about if you're doing your own book. You gotta understand the cover. You gotta understand how to do the binding. Like this binding is, is key and how many pages you need for that. And then also um, the inside cover. How are you gonna do the inside cover to make it look the way that you wanna look? Um, and then the, the pages, everything that goes into these books, you think if you go to like a Barnes and Noble or, or a bookstore, you might think, man, that, that can't be that difficult. It's extremely difficult. There's a long process. And it took, um, it took me and um, I had a, an assistant in the process for editing, editing and design. It took us about six to eight weeks and we were fast and thorough on the, on the um, situation. But um, it can be done. We, we went through the entire process. We taught ourselves. And we learned it now we could probably replicate it if, if need be but um essentially you got to create this massive pdf ours was 180 pages the the margins have to be perfect the the photo has to fit in there a certain way and you have to build in your own um your look and feel of your book into that pdf so when you share it with the printing company they get everything they need so they can just put it into their printers and print these things out in mass quantity um, again, that's a different level, but you might be somebody that has traveled to some great locations or you just want to put something in a book that you can share on a larger scale. Um, that's the way you do it. And um, based on the numbers of prints that you get and the potential margin that you can make on your book, you could turn into a, a, a potential business. And, and outlets now like Amazon are out there that you can then sell the books online as well. So. Um, if, if you have something unique and you think you can you can maximize it in some capacity, I, I highly recommend it. But it, understand that it is a, a different level. And it might be one of those things where you create a book like this in Google Books, Google Photos, get people to understand if they like it. And then if there is an interest in um, something on a smaller scale, then you can you can up the ante and, and get something um, more, um, uh, qu more quantity of the book as you print them out. All right. So again, three awesome versions, Groovebook, Google Book, self-published book, but I um, print the photos out. That's all I'm gonna say is print, get your photos in some way that they're just not all sitting in the cloud, they're not all on Instagram, they're not all on Facebook. Do something with your photos because that's what inspires more travel. Because as you're sitting around a house, your condo, your apartment, whatever, and you've got these old photos that remind you that just aren't on your phone that you forget about. These are things that inspire us to continue to travel, to see all the great places, and to do more fun stuff around the world. Best of luck.